Uh, hello guys, uh, so our project creation is already done. So you will be seeing something like this. I will be going to explaining these panels one by one as I am as I'm going through this project. But yeah, like first of all, the goal of this video that we will create a tank and we will spawn our tank into this environment as simple as that. That is the goal of this video. So first of all, I will quickly share some navigation details uh, as I have already shared with you in the previous video. You just need to click on the 2D button. So to toggle between 2D and 3D world. Okay. So this is something called as scene view. Scene view is nothing but uh, this contains entire information about the objects that you are looking in a particular level. Consider scene as a level. Okay. So suppose your game has 10 levels and suppose in one level you want to have this environment and in another level you want to have a different environment. So scene view basically will represent the environment that is present in that particular level. So you can you can majority of the people uh, consider scenes as levels as well for the simplicity so this is something called as scene view and right now what I'm doing is I'm holding right click and I'm moving moving my mouse to see here and there and like this is how you should navigate uh, suppose you want to move then press the W key if the speed is too slow then you can scroll it to increase the speed as simple as that this is how you should move in the world of the 3d in unity game engine so if you are using unity for the very first time i would recommend play around these settings w a s d to move right left front and back holding right mouse button that is very important okay so as simple as that now we understood what is seen now in this environment i want to spawn a tank so let's quickly see how we can do it first of all we need to create tank and after that we need to write a simple small script to spawn it so first of all we will cover what is prefab and what is prefab creation so to create prefab uh, we will go under a project panel again project panel uh, is nothing but a container of entire data that is required in our project as simple as that you will find everything under project panel as simple as that now uh, Outscale team has provided you all the 3D models that are required. So you can see all these trees and all the stuff. But at the moment we need tank. So click on the project and click on the search icon and just type the tank. Then you will see all these things. So make sure that you are not selecting anything else. Like uh, so here you can see this is something called as 3D model. Please make sure that you are not selecting these 2D images. You just need to select this only so make sure that your tank is looking like this and this name is properly tank not anything else there are a bunch of other images and other files as well please don't use that please use this and you will be needing model this is something called as model okay so click on the tank and you will be seeing some uh, inside the inspector again uh, inspector is something that will give you the information about the selected object as simple as that you have selected this inspector will get changed and in fact inspector will say that okay this is sprite sprite is nothing but a 2d thing and if you click on the tank uh, inspector will say this is model and uh, as as uh, as per this information inspector will keep on giving us a different information as we are clicking on the different object as simple as that you can see inspector is getting changed right so please make sure that you are clicking on the tank and inside the inspector you can see some some similar interface like, like this so if you are doing that then just click on the tank and just drag and drop the tank okay i will i will do it again i will just delete it at the moment so again just drag and drop the tank as simple as that if you double click on it then it will zoom in inside the scene view if you double click on anything that uh, unity will focus on that game object in the scene view so now you just need to zoom out a bit how to do that scroll back to zoom out now this is something called as axis so you can move the objects in the scene view in the 3d world so inside using the vertical object you just need to bring this tank up so i'm again holding right mouse button to change my angle and i'm moving ahead i'm little bit moving towards my tank and I'm zooming out okay right now our tank has spawned below our environment so quick fix of this is 
click the tank that we have just added through the uh, project click on the tank and, and right click on the transform this is something called as transform which will track the position and rotation of the game object okay just click on the tank and right click on the transform and hit the reset so if you if you reset it uh, then uh, the, our tank position and rotation will be 0 0 0 and everything else will be 0 now we need to fix our entire level environment so in, in this object entire environment is stored so what we need to do is we need to reset the transform of this complete level art as well this is nothing but the entire environment game object so just click on the transform and hit reset so now you can see our tank is perfectly placed uh, i'm just closing this so yeah, if you double click on the tank, then uh, then you can see our unity is focusing in this tank on the tank itself. So as simple as that, you can move around our tank. So we have added this tank uh, uh, in our scene. So ignore the game view at the moment. Anyways, we will gonna fix that once we are setting up the camera. So that's about it. Uh, this is how you should be adding a tank in your uh, in your environment. As simple as that.